here's the template for the pick guard and here's the mother of pearl blank I cut it a little bit large you see the red lines there so I cut it outside the line I'm gonna sticky tape it on there then I'm gonna trim it up and trim it up with the uh, with the router so let me show you how all that goes Hope y'all are setting up to have a nice Thanksgiving. If you've got your turkey in the deep freeze, you might want to pull it out now. Fire it out. Maybe it's a little early. I don't know. I'm not good with numbers. So here's my router. It's a Bosch. All you Jamie Oliver fans, get a kick out of that. Bosch, Bosch. All right, I'm gonna plug this in. Usually, I don't plug it in until after I load the bits. So, we're gonna wait on that. It's just safer that way. So I need a flush trim bit. Uh, bah, bah. go with the top bearing bit just because I have one that's nice and fresh right top bearing that's what we're gonna do like to pull the bearing bits pull the bits out of the collet just a little bit just pull it up a sixteenth or so and leave a little space there instead of the things bearing right down on the nut I just think you get a you get a better fit put a little collar on here this is the smallest collar that comes with the table go now we're gonna double-sided tape this so seeing as how it's the top bearing bit we're gonna run it around like this so that's where my tape is gonna go and I'll put it on that side so I got some double-sided sticky tape and I got the centers cut it in half bam then we'll peel it apart. This stuff is about a 30 second, maybe maybe a little bit less, maybe like 25 thousandths thick, which can have an effect if you use it in uh, certain situations, but in this case, it's not a big deal. Put a couple down here, and what's nice about it is that it, it can, uh, while it sticks really nice, and keeps everything glued together it also comes off when you need it to all right so we're going to take this and we're going to stick it on there So you want the uh, whatever you're cutting to sit a little bit proud of your template all the way around. And that's what I got. Stick it on there, stick it. Make it all sticky. All right. We're all sticky now. All sticky now. Now we gotta adjust our height. We're gonna bring this baby down. Bring it down. All right, now bring the camera about level with the table so everybody can see what we're shooting for. Ooh. 
Oop, going the wrong way, Jane. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bring it down. Hopefully we've got enough. Nope. I'm gonna have to click it to the next level. Just a little bit. All right. So, I'm going to put my danger gear on. Where's my danger hat? Where's my danger hat? Jane, the, the camera person is going to have to put their danger squint on like that. these little things that happen these crazy little bug looking things so there you have it uh now we need to put a bevel on it i'm gonna show you how to do that too what of excitement out there not as much as in here though huh right <laughs> <laughs> look out oh all right now oh, she's almost all loose oh. all right. so we're gonna put the bang back and we're gonna grab a 45 degree chamfer bit Same thing, I'm going to lift the bit up a little bit from the locking nut. All right, and we'll put this on, yeah, maybe the next size up. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The bits get everywhere, Jane. <laughs> uh, I think we'll go a little bit more, Jane. Yeah. I think that'll be good. Maybe just a scotch more. That's it. Beautiful. All right. We're locking it in. And I want to take a little piece of this.
and just sort of put it in the corner. I'm going to peel it. And I just need this for a spacer, so all I need to peel is one side. I just want to stick it in here. Do it again. You went a little too deep. Hi, Jane. How are you hanging turn. in there? Oh, good. You all right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Terrific. All right. There we go. That's what I like. Let's see if we got enough room for this now. Nope, we're going to have to go the next size up. All right. We're locked in. Everything's off the top of the table. Got my danger mask on. All right. My danger hat. Let's do it. Now, first we have to figure out where we're going to put the chamfer. This is very important. Otherwise, you'll put the chamfer all the way around and it'll look silly. So we're going to need it here, we're going to need it here, and all around here. But we don't want it here, where it's red. Okay. So that's where we know not to run the chamfer bit. Ready? Ready. <laughs> That's a pick guard. All that's left is unsticking it from this template. Nice. And there you have it. Very nice. All right. Peace out. Keep making guitars. Remember, every machine's a smoke machine if you don't use it properly. And if uh, you like this and you want to see more, subscribe. Peace out.